Here's how you can extract the middle name when it exists. I'll even help you understand the formula so you can use it with confidence. All right, so let's break down all the functions I use in this formula, starting with the text split function. Here in the first argument, I'm telling it to look at the value in D3. In the second argument, I'm telling it to split that based on the empty spaces between each name. In this case here, it returns an array with three values. Next is the count a function. I nestle the text split function into the count a function. Count a counts how many values are in the array created by text split. In this case, it returns a value of three. Third function is the index function. The index function returns a value from an array based on the address you provide. The first argument is the array created by the text split function. The second argument is the address of the middle name within the array. Lastly, I put all this into an if function. If count a of text split returns a value of greater than two, then return the middle name using the index function. Otherwise, leave it blank. The entire formula is available in the video description. I also created a full video where I cover the first and last name. I put the link to that video in the description as well. I really hope this helped.